I'm filming a um, very original video. No one has ever done this before. I'm joking. Literally everyone is dying the hair pink. So I'm jumping on board the hype. And I actually think my hair is quite perfect for it. Not my roots because obviously we're just going to ignore the roots. Now this says to put it on towel dried hair. Yesterday I did two strands to test it on dry hair and towel dried hair. And it definitely works better on dry hair. So... I'm gonna put it on dry hair. If this goes wrong, then I'm probably gonna cry, but I don't think it is gonna go wrong because it went fine on the strand underneath. So like, it can't be that hard, can it? I'm also gonna cut my hair. <laughs> um, I don't have enough elastic bands to do what Brad Mondo suggests, so I'm gonna put the dye on and then just snip the end off. That's probably a terrible idea and I'm, it's gonna go really uneven, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't think it's essential to go to Morrison's to get some more elastic bands. So I need to start my TikTok because I want to TikTok this. So one second. I've decided what TikTok sound to use, but I think I'm gonna use the board in the house one because everyone's doing that. Just did a bad thing one. I don't want to use that one. I'm gonna do the board in the house one. Yeah, I actually used to box dye my hair all the time, so I'm not too stressed about you know doing it properly because I used to have black hair. Granted, I've spent about a thousand pound at various different hairdressers lightening it and getting the dye out, but you know, I know what I'm doing, some might say. I don't know why I'm doing this. I've got exams that I haven't even started looking for. Bull procrastination. Basically, if I don't do any better in these exams, I'll be finishing second year with a 2 1, but like it's not the kind of 2 1 I want, so I am actually going to revise at some point when I've. Uh, Stop procrastinating. Oh, it is coming out. Oh my god, it's so pink. Um, I'm not very professional with the bowl. This is literally a kitchen bowl. I had my cereal in this last night. <laughs> Can you hear that? Woo! Just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. Okay, so this is the colour of it. It's really baby pink. Uh, it stinks. So, I've got my uh, disposable gloves. These are a hot commodity. My dad actually said I can dye his hair pink if I have enough dye left, so that might be in the end of this video if he actually lets me do it. Not like he's got anywhere to go. He's 73, so he should be self-isolating. But he keeps going to Aldi. From watching Brad Mondo's videos, what I've learned is that colour goes on the ends really easily. See, I know the brown isn't going to go pink. I'm not stupid. Um, but I have highlights all the way up, so I want to make sure that I get at least those bits. I'm not going to go like right on my scalp because I really don't see the point. It's not going to go pink. I've done those bits. I now think I'm going to let this bit of my hair down. I wear a middle part, so let's get it all in the middle part. Fun fact, I used to think I was like some next level hairdresser. I used to dye my friend's hair. And she once wanted to go like light brown, but she had dark brown hair. So I was like, what we need to do is like bleach your hair and get um, like a clean slate. We'll bleach it, it'll go white. Whose hair goes white straight away <laughs> from uh, brown? I don't know what I was smoking, but clearly I wasn't uh, thinking straight. My hair went bright orange, shock, it didn't go white. And... She had to hide from her mum and dad. Like she literally sat in her room for like two weeks so that her mum and dad wouldn't notice because she had really nice long hair. Like her mum and dad weren't best pleased and she'd walk around the house with like her hood up to try and hide her hair. I mean, it was bad. Like it was ginger. Like she went from like the colour of my roots to like ginger. <gasps> oh my God, I've got it on the rug. Is my forehead going to go pink? I've got it on my forehead and I didn't put any Vaseline on. I think if I use my sister's hairbrush to brush this through my hair, she'll be pissed off, wouldn't it? Surely not. I think Brad always says you need to brush the colour through. Oh my god, it's catching really quick. My hair is quite pink already. See, now that I'm brushing this through my hair, I can see that some of it's not um, going pink. So I can go over these bits and fix that. So what I need to do now is go over these bits around the side where I've not got the colour in there properly. I regret the thing I did. Oh my God, my forehead is actually going pink. It's on my neck. Can you tell me, is this okay from the back? Well, you're not gonna be able to tell me in real time. So if it's not then, 
I've ruined it, but 11.27, I'm gonna leave this on for half an hour. I don't know if I am gonna leave it on for half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, um, but yeah. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna wash this out now because the color of it's kind of stressing me out. It's gone really dark pink and I don't want it dark pink. <sighs> terrible feeling i'm really gonna regret this really gonna regret this decision reveal what we've done by the way i've literally drenched myself i'm incapable of rinsing my own hair Ooh. okay this could be a good color i rinsed it out 15 minutes early because the color was really stressing me out it was going very dark pink and then i googled people who had done it on dry hair and the hair was like dark pink after half an hour so now i'm gonna try it I'm back again. Uh, it's still wet because I remembered I said I was going to do a little bit of a snip snip. That literally doesn't even look bad, can you see? Granted it's probably all going to be very uneven when I put it around the back but we're just experimenting. So now I'm actually going to dry my hair and see what I've done but I'm actually quite happy with the colour. I think this looks quite nice and obviously it'll be a bit lighter when i dry it i think it's quite even as well i've got a few blonde bits but i think it looks quite good if i may say so myself okay so the majority of my hair is dry now i'm just gonna let the rest of it air dry um this has actually worked really well. I don't want to toot my own horn. I think this is the best I've seen people do it. I've seen a lot of other people and they end up with a load of like blonde, obvious, very blonde bits sticking out. I have bits where it's darker than lighter. But even if you look at like the side of my hair where I've got like highlights and stuff, even that's gone a shade of pink. So I'm going to leave my hair to air dry and I think I am going to curl my hair tonight. So I'll maybe finish this video tomorrow and show you it like styled and stuff. I do have enough left to dye my dad's hair pink also. But I don't want this video to be too long so I might actually just include that in a vlog next week. So if you want to see my 73 year old half bald father dye his hair pink, well I'll do it for him. Then give this video a thumbs up and I'll vlog it next week yeah. i think i might actually do some more cutting of my hair should we do some more cutting of my hair let's do some more cutting of my hair let me go get the scissors Woo woo! my hair's really really frizzy kind of want to give myself like a little bit of a snip snip up here maybe we'll do some like bangs no yes okay if you say so god this hair is absolutely fried i'm gonna leave that little chip chop there actually no i'm not i'm gonna do more i'm kind of going like diagonal so it's like a bit shorter at the front what a hairdresser um i don't have like a one hairdresser i'm a serial hairdresser hopper don't know if anyone else is just because i feel like i've not really found anyone that i'm like yeah you can do my hair like forever i think if i had like a brad mondo in my life you know i'd happily let him do my hair so i think i'm gonna maybe leave my hair cut there let me check the ends check the ends i'm definitely not meant to do it like this i know i'm not meant to do it like this i have to catch me first i'm like a whip it no I'm not allowed. I know I'm not allowed. I've done it now. It's too bleeding late. What are they going to do? What's going to happen? Going to shoot me? I doubt it. They have to catch me first. I'm like a whippet. So I'll see you tomorrow when I've curled my pink hair. Woo! Hey up. So I actually love this hair. Like, I love it. Um, so if anyone has a nasty comment about it, please keep it to yourself because I feel like I'm living my best life and I don't want anyone to, you know, puncture that balloon right now. You are currently lent on my grand's adult diapers. Um, just thought I'd let you know that. But yeah, my hair actually turned out really, really well. I really, really like it. I want it to stay forever and I know it's going to come out in like one or two washes because that's what everyone's been telling me on Instagram all day. I do still have another bottle left so I could go over it if I wanted to but... I kind of want to just dye my dad's hair slash head pink because I feel like that's a better use of the bottle, you know? So yeah, I'd definitely say to ignore Bleach London's instructions, be a rule breaker and put this on dry hair because I think like it's definitely come out better than most people's I've seen putting it on towel dried hair. But yeah, that's literally it for this video. I have nothing else <laughs> to update you when I've got nothing else to tell you. Um, so... 
follow me on Instagram maybe if you want to be spammed by pink hair but that's it bye